Bitcoin's first futures ETF launching this week, one analyst predicts a meteoric rise for Bitcoin price. However, will a sell the news type event give Bitcoin a final buy the dumpage downward move before Bitcoin lets the juice? out of its caboose. And this altcoin is forming a near perfect symmetrical triangle. Now this is very big. I'm your host, Tommy TubeTop. And tomorrow is a day that has everyone standing on their tippy toes because it will most likely be the nuttiest week left of the year 2021. Absolutely so big. So if you guys are new to your channel, make sure to like, subscribe, turn these you miss these absolutely time sensitive alerts. As well, if you're interested in joining our pool or any other bonuses, make sure to check out the pinned comment below. And without any further Magoo, let's dump in. Such bigly Magoo, guys. So if we take a look on this weekly chart with Bitcoin getting a weekly candle close in just six hours. And by the way, if you want to just go over to my website, I've actually added a countdown, a live countdown of how long until we get this close. All you have to do is click the link in the uh, description of the pinned comment there. Uh, if you're curious, like when will we be getting this weekly close? You can just check it out live there on the website. Bitcoin has never had a weekly close above 60K. If we take a look here, if we zoom in really, really close and get very teensy tiny with the the zooming in here, you can see Bitcoin like it came within a couple buckaronis of 60K, but it did not quite close above 60K. I believe it was right about 59,977. So roughly $20 away from 60K, uh, but it never closed a weekly above that level. So that's why I think this is going to be very exciting because not only that, uh, but this week is going to be huge because again, we're going to be talking about this futures ETF that is going to be launching here. And uh, I mean, again, this is just massive moon juice and you just want to be prepared. Now is the time to be preparing any accumulation, any trades, anything like that. This is a very opportune moment, but is it going to guarantee that, you know, the second that the stock market opens up on Monday and the second this futures ETF goes live, is that going to guarantee Bitcoin's going to explode? No, absolutely not. But again, you really want to be prepared. This, I believe, if there's ever a definition of the calm before the storm, this this is like the definition of a calm before the storm, both on the charts and fundamentally with a Bitcoin futures ETF for the first time in history. And we're going to be talking about a spot based ETF as well, just in a few moments here. But again, realistically, looking at this chart, we are above all major resistance. You can see that on, on basically any chart. This is our last big level of resistance, and we've breached that. Right here, this green line is the previous all time high, right at about 64.9 on Gemini. It differs based on. Um, exchange slightly there but this would be the first weekly close above 60k which is a monumentous occasion again we're taking a look here at the weekly rsi which has absolutely held what it needed to we had this cross back in the middle of august which is pretty good uh, but we had a kind of dumpy move over the last two months however we did not get a bearish uh, rsi momentum cross here so that's good it actually maintained and now bitcoin is absolutely set to potentially you know end out this year with uh, the rsi looking something like this and with this you know just going absolutely very much to the upside and that i think again is the most likely scenario uh, it would be exactly what the stock to flow would predict it would be exactly what all relevant data and on-chain metrics would also predict and again if you want to know exactly when the weekly will roll over you can just go to the link uh, pinned in the comments and description there but a bitcoin futures etf is coming next week it could soon send the token soaring to eighty-five thousand, says one analyst here so let's just take a look at a few things here because bitcoin etf is set to launch this week and it is very exciting to investors uh could very easily uh, give Bitcoin that catalyst needed to blow up here. Uh, and a Bitcoin linked ETF would make it easier for investors to gain exposure to the crypto. And it's not quite the pure Bitcoin ETF that many crypto enthusiasts were hoping for, aka a physically backed Bitcoin ETF. But analysts say it should still drive institutions towards a digital, digital asset market like never before. And I personally think it will encourage uh, bigger players to maybe even just buy Bitcoin instead of getting into a futures. The old saying of like any publicity is good publicity, I think is somewhat relevant here because again, it's going to expose more people, which I don't know who hasn't been exposed to the, the name Bitcoin yet, but I'm sure there are people that have been living under a rock when it comes to that. And again, this will just bring it to more people's attention here. So uh, if investors buy into the fund heavily, Bitcoin could hit that $85,000 target, which we're going to be talking about in a second as well, is uh, just a massive Fibonacci extension target as well literally right at about 85 we're gonna be taking a look at this chart in just a second here as well but um this was said by edward moya senior marketing analyst at trading platform awanda here uh, and if initial trading volumes are strong it could have the momentum to target that 
0.5k region and have a clear path to 85. And the market is clearly reacting positively as we edge ever closer to the holy grail. So over the weekend, what we've seen so far is Bitcoin breached 62,000 all the way up to almost 63. And it's been having a little bit of um, just a little consolidation over the last few hours. But so far, it's been holding 60k, which is huge. Like I've been saying over the past week, if we breach 60k and we can hold that for a few days, that's really good. That's absolute moon juice. And that's what we're seeing here. So ProShares, a U.S. specialist in ETFs, uh, is due to launch a Bitcoin futures ETF this week, according to a filing with the SEC. Uh, a person familiar with SEC's thinking said the ETF should start trading in the coming days here, and it will go under the ticker BITO or BITO. And this ETF will track Bitcoin futures rather than Bitcoin itself. Their futures contracts uh, to buy and sell at an asset at a predetermined price and time. They track the movements and the price of Bitcoin pretty close, but it means investors do not have to own to physically own Bitcoin, which again is why this ETF is not as good as a physically backed ETF. However, that doesn't mean that it won't amount to something very bullish uh, very shortly here. And it really does mark a watershed moment for crypto as it could be the key driver for getting the next wave of crypto investors. And I'm sure you've seen this sentiment echoed over a lot of uh, crypto social media, like on Twitter and YouTube. We're not seeing any um, FOMO. I mean, we're seeing some people that are very tuned into the market, very excited about this, but we're not seeing like mania. We're not seeing everybody on the planet blowing up about Bitcoin, kind of like they were back in the summer of this year, and especially back in like uh, the end of 2017. We're not seeing that yet. In fact, we're even seeing like leverage not going too crazy. We're just, uh, we're clearly in a place where uh, we're pretty much at all time highs and the, the entire world is not buzzing about Bitcoin, which you would expect at a top. Meaning, again, uh, I don't think anybody that's been following these markets and has a good idea of, of what this market is about to do, I don't think anybody thinks we're close to the top just yet. However, again, I still think within the next four to six weeks, we could be there with Bitcoin and, you know, a little bit further out for altcoins, you know, assuming they would run after Bitcoin, which is more than likely the case. And as great as it is to finally have this asset class recognized, the supply squeeze we all really want to see is still just out of reach, which a spot based ETF would uh, bring us closer. I've said this, I said this in the last video, and I've said this before. If we get a physically backed Bitcoin ETF, which we're going to be talking about right now, if we would get one of those, I would think 200, 250, $300,000 per Bitcoin this cycle. Again, I don't think we'll get one approved just yet. Again, we'll have to see how the next two months rolls around, but I think those price targets become very likely if a physically backed Bitcoin ETF would be approved, which keep in mind, that has not been approved yet. This is a futures-based ETF. So Grayscale is actually planning on applying to convert the world's biggest Bitcoin fund into an ETF, a spot-based ETF, okay? So this is big. They've made it no secret that they intend to seek approval for a spot-based Bitcoin ETF once a futures-based one clears the commission. So this is big. So uh, a futures-based Bitcoin ETF is kind of just the first step. A lot of people have basically said like, yeah, it's guaranteed if we're going to get an ETF, it's going to be a futures-based one first. There's basically zero chance that we would get a physically backed Bitcoin ETF first, if at all. So again, this is just one more little stepping stone towards that. It's not guaranteed that we'll get a spot-based uh, spot uh, Bitcoin ETF. However, this is one step closer to that. And so a futures-based ETF cleared the commission on Friday. Uh, Grayscale's ETF would be backed by actual units of crypto, not simply linked to it via derivatives contracts, such as futures. And uh, there are some people saying that it has basically no chance of winning approval anytime soon. Uh, however, again, it's something we have to watch as the sentiment and how the futures based ETF does over the next few months as well. But once the filing is made, the SEC has 75 days to review it. So let's say they would put in this um, spot based Bitcoin ETF, I don't know, two weeks from now, there would be over two months until it would have to be reviewed. So looking at Bitcoin here, uh, Bitcoin's price obviously has been doing very well. And uh, after we found that initial resistance right at about 58, which was the last really big level of previous resistance you can see here, uh, once we broke that, Bitcoin has now moved up. Um, and again, I think we have free reign. Really, the only level we have left to break is that previous all-time high. And on this FIB extension, it would be right about the 786, right at about 64,000, right above 64,000. Afterwards, 73 uh, 72 to 73 is the next big fib level uh, after which again 85 is a giant level and that's something they talked about in the article there the 1.618 which is something i think a lot of people look at and it has a lot of relevance to breakouts is at about 105 105,000, peaking us a little bit above 100,000 dollars per bitcoin and as well i did just want to mention i took a look at soul today which seems to be having a textbook uh, symmetrical triangle pattern potentially bull flag uh, breakout uh, again it's not quite near the completion yet so this could actually go all the way till the end of the month uh, 
But um, yeah, this is, again, a picture-perfect consolidation here. I'm not a giant fan of Seoul. Um, I don't even have much of it. I do have a little position in Seoul, but I'm not um, really pointing this out for any other reason other than the fact that uh, I took a look at the chart. And again, whenever I see consolidation patterns, this textbook, uh, like this beautiful, I think it's important to point out there. So again, breakout target of this would actually put Seoul very close to that $300 target. If Bitcoin does start exploding and then altcoins get a lot of capital flooded into them, then a $300 price target for Seoul is pretty easy, right? And a lot of these alts will go, again, Ethereum on the verge of what I think will be a five-digit Ethereum this cycle, even if only briefly. Uh, but Ethereum, I think, is heavily weighed down. I think Ethereum's ready to bust as well. And we're keeping in mind, we're still watching ADA right here, still just right on the very top of this line here, close to breaking. This could actually have a really nice breakout to the upside very, very shortly as well. Seoul, Ethereum, ADA, I think are all very close to breaking out. And you can pretty much say the same for a lot of these top alts, which their individual TA doesn't even matter if Bitcoin starts mooning, because then afterwards, altcoins are just extremely likely to get so much capital flooded into them. So that's when it really starts to get fun. But uh, yeah, Bitcoin did avoid that bearish divergence because of this news. Uh, fundamental news broke any type of short-term technicals because uh, a futures-based Bitcoin ETF is obviously more bullish uh, and more impactful than any uh, any chart can price into that, right? Sometimes fundamental news, sometimes fundamental news as big as that eh, just really takes things over. But realistically, I just think it's very important today to watch this close to see where we get this new weekly candle above. If we can get it above 60K, that is just very, very important. But even more important, uh, when we get this ETF to go, the futures ETF to go live, my goodness, I'm very curious. I think a lot of people have been waiting this weekend because they know this upcoming week has the potential to be the biggest week of the year. This is a new channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on and miss these absolute time sensitive alerts as well. If you're studying bonuses or joining our pool, make sure to check out the um, pinned comment below. And as well, just make sure you can just check out the website as well to get a real time update on when this weekly candle will close. Thank you for the review. It's me. Hey, me.